country voted for a racist, misogynistic asshole. They just don't know any better. They've been fed a bunch of lies. Just like you can stand for the flag, you also have the right to kneel. We don't have true free speech, only leftist speech. You ready? Let's go. Let's get it. So we're going to Phoenix. Arizona is a swing state, which means that right now they're not quite sure if it's going to lean Democrat or Republican. You should be able to speak your mind and not feel canceled and not feel oppressed as a conservative viewpoint. We're not racist, we're all inclusive for everybody. I use social media. That's how I find out a lot of my news. Twitter, Instagram. CNN and NBC. Fox News, listen to Rush Limbaugh a lot. Conservative all the way. People spread false information all the time on the internet and people jump to conclusions off of that. I think we assume that our peers operate on the same set of facts that we do, except for they don't necessarily. Pennsylvania or Florida? Florida would be such a switch up. We're about to go meet up this kid, Naudi. People come from big different backgrounds, religion. I'm a Christian before I say I'm, I'm an American. That's just the way I see it. Next up, Pennsylvania. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We don't have these same choices here in North Philly. More of them got a gun in their hand than a book. This is Trump rally, starting up at 11 a.m. What's the greatest threat to America right now? This is for both. The left. Joe Biden is a corrupt politician who raked in millions from China. He's a corrupt politician. It's going to be chaos. It is November 7th at 11.39 in the morning. Joe Biden elected as president. Politics has become like a dehumanizing like tactic and people forget that we're all humans. Just because we disagree on politics doesn't mean we should disrespect each other. Life is more than politics, you know? But finding that common ground allows people to continue to work together despite disagreements in that. I've always been able to civilly disagree, like agree to disagree kind of a person. I like to have friends that see things a different way because you really don't know what you believe until you have to like give an account for it, you know? You know, I listen first, listen to understand, I just listen to speak, I try to understand their point of view. As someone who has a gay brother, as a Republican, well, I just try to be really open-minded with, with all of that, no matter what my views are. At the end of the day, we're all humans and we all love whoever we want. Other people are going to think differently than you and other people are going to act differently than you. And as long as it's not going to like potentially, you know, endanger me or hurt me, it's not that big of a deal. No one's going to be the exact same as you. The biggest thing for us to, you know, for us to all get along with is just understanding that everyone is different and we all come from different backgrounds. We need to take the time to put ourselves in someone else's shoes. You have the right to choose who you want to love how you want to live, and that is what America gives, freedom. So, up. Are you voting? It's not going as planned. No, did you vote yet? Yeah, I vote yet now. You go map it on. I think about all the guilt in taking all the GoFundMe money. <laughs> <laughs>